let us start with what are geosynclines geosyncline okay geosynclines okay uh, this this is an idea idea and a concept idea and a concept to explain to explain how uh, fold mountains must have been formed to explain to explain uh, how okay fold mountains fold mountains uh, must have uh, been formed i hope you understand this point it's an idea remember this it's an idea it's a concept because see it's something like even now we are not very sure if there was the big bang and if big bang is the basis of how our universe was formed okay we have some evidences we know some theories we have some proof but are we 100% sure there was big bang similarly think about the idea called as god think of the idea called as god okay why do we need to believe in god because there is some order we want to believe there is some power something that rewards good work and something that punishes bad work okay so god is also for some of us an idea correct for some nobody has seen god at least i want to believe none of us in the class have seen god okay but it's an idea okay i'm not saying it is right or wrong it's an idea we do not know for sure there are people who have very very strong faith yes there is god and there are people who don't believe in god but it's a belief yes for some of it's a fear okay can you understand this analogy all of you now okay so so here we have so geosyncline i'm saying geosyncline is an idea geosyncline is a concept okay we are not very sure if it is there or it's not there it's an idea to start with to start with to explain fold mountains and their formation fold mountains and their formation geosynclines geo synclines syncline as a concept was uh, given by uh, two scholars hall and dana hall and dana they defined geosynclines as as massive massive elongated elongated uh, depressions depressions okay uh, resembling very large valleys so what i'm saying is this idea of geosyncline was given by two people hall and dana hall and dana they defined geosyncline as what they defined geosyncline as massive elongated depression resembling very large valleys resembling very large valleys geosynclines were assumed to be much 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 longer longer than uh, uh, their uh, relative uh, uh, width width and depth they were much much longer compared to their relative width and their relative depth so it's something like this so if if this is a very long this is a very long depression you can all imagine the depression here is like a valley okay the length is enormous this is enormous enormous length whereas unka jo width hai the width is less and the depth the depth this is depth depth this is the width the length length is uh, much much more much much more than the relative width of the geosyncline and the relative depth of the geosyncline relative depth of the geosyncline is it okay is it okay all of you so i repeat geosynclines defined as massive elongated depressions resembling very large valleys geosynclines were assumed to be 
much much longer than their relative width and relative depth and that is what I have drawn here to show you. Yes, they are relatively shallow, correct. That is, that is, they are relatively shallow. Now, see when I am saying shallow, I do not mean one or two meters. Compared to their length, it is very, very shallow. The length could be, could be thousands of kilometers. Think of the length as, uh, as uh, 3000 kilometers. Uh, 3000 kilometers. Whereas the uh, width could be probably uh, two, three kilometers. The depth could be probably one or two kilometers. So I'm not saying the depth is less. Compared to the length, the depth is less. Compared to the length, the width is less. Okay. So they are something like valleys, but are relatively shallow. Look up me, all of you. Okay. They are relatively shallow. All done. Okay. Now listen. Hall and Dana. Hall and Dana also believed. Also believed. They also believed uh, that geosynclines, uh, geosynclines had, geosynclines had mobile, mobile uh, sinking floors. The mobile sinking floors. That is, that is the geosynclines. That is the geosynclines uh, uh, were capable of, uh, capable of, okay, uh, becoming deeper. Becoming uh, deeper you know, with their with their uh, floors with their uh, floors uh, subsiding subsiding under the uh, weight of under the weight of accumulating accumulating sediments. I'll explain this. Write this down first. Hall and Dana also believed that the geosync lines had mobile sinking floors. They had mobile sinking floors. That is geosync lines. That the geosync lines were capable of becoming deeper with their floor subsiding. The floors could sink. Okay. Because of the weight of the accumulating sediments. So think of, think of a valley like this. Okay, so as sediments are accumulating, this becomes heavy and starts to sink. It becomes deeper. As more sediments are accumulating, this again becomes heavy. It sinks. It again becomes deeper. Okay, again sediments are accumulating. So, so as the sediments accumulate, the, the, the geosync line will have a sinking floors because of the weight. Okay, subsiding floor under the weight of subsiding sediments, uh, accumulating sediments. The sediments comes from erosion from the continents, erosion from the land, erosion from the surfaces alongside. Take a depth same nahi rahega na, ab depth bar jayega. Okay, the, the, the depth of this will increase, the depth of this will increase. Okay, it will become much much deeper, slowly, gradually it will become deeper. So you have got mobile sinking floor. We have mobile sinking floor. Yes, mobile means going down. It is capable of movement. Mobile means going down, capable of movement. All done? Okay. So this is what Hall and Dana, Hall and Dana are saying. Okay. Uh, a hog, H A U G. No some names. Okay. Hog had tried. Hog had tried to map. Map the presence of the presence of uh, ancient geosync lines, ancient geosync lines on a paleographic, on a paleographic, paleographic, okay, map of the world, paleographic map of the world. Just know this name, nothing more. So Hogg had tried to map. कि दुनिया में कहां कहां पर जियोसिंक लाइंस थे पहले वेयर ऑल वी हैड जियोसिंक लाइंस हॉग हैड ट्राइड टू मैप देम ही पुट इट ऑन अ ओल्ड मैप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड व्हिच ही कॉल्ड एज द पैलियोग्राफिक मैप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यस एच ए यू जी यस हॉग हॉग 
सो यू हैव गॉट थ्री नेम्स नाउ सम ऑफ द फाउंडर कंसेप्ट्स कौन किसने था हॉल हॉल इज वन नेम डाना इज वन नेम एंड हॉग एच ए यू जी हॉग इज अनदर नेम ओके थ्री नेम्स हु गेव द कंसेप्ट ऑफ जियोसिंक लाइंस सो व्हाट आर जियोसिंक लाइंस व्हाट आर जियोसिंक लाइंस जियोसिंक लाइंस आर मैसिव elongated but relatively shallow relatively narrower okay uh, landforms which are like valleys which are like valleys 